Well, hello everyone. It's um, I have a video for you guys today. In front of me, I have the Canon Image Runner Advanced C2030. I got this uh, printer, copier, scanner a few months back in September, on September 27th. It's now November 10th. So it's been around two months. So, unfortunately, this printer currently does not work. I got this printer for around uh, 300 bucks. This actually go usually goes for over a thousand, actually. So yeah, I got it for 300, um, and it was a pain in the ass hauling it back to my little lab, but. We have it here now. So again, this is a Canon Image Runner Advanced C2030. I've given up on this printer a long time ago already, but now I just had enough interest to try and salvage it. So here, as you can see, it says uh, check the printer, call service representative, and the error code is E00074-0000. Now if we enter the service menu, remember now, there we go, it will tell us what error that is, and according to the system, it's something with the primary transfer disengagement control. Now I've, I have a theory for why this printer is not working, and I'm going to show you guys that. So we're going to go ahead and shut this down. Okay. So when I got this printer, it was working. Alright, so I could do copies with it. So I noticed that I did a test copy by placing it on the glass and doing a copy. And when it came out, I noticed that the image was very light. So the seller told me that I should replace the toner. They provided me with brand new toner can see in here I have the brand new toner installed these are the laser drums and the below is the toner so I installed the new toner as they said it might be uh, uh, if the toner sits for too long it won't be effective so I replaced it same issue and uh, yeah, I noticed that after a few copies the images just came out blank so it was printing blank sheets of paper now the error, the primary disengagement control, I've researched it on a bunch of forums. There's actually not too much information on it, but it's, it has something to do with the ITB unit. And this is the immediate intermediate transfer belt of the printer. So if I take this out right now, uh, See if I can get a shot in there. As you can see, those are the laser drums. Those little green things. Yup, those are laser drums. That's where those laser drums are. Right there. You can see them right in there. So this is what the paper the paper would be on this would be right here, and the belt would transfer the image onto the paper. And the seller told me that the the print head needs to be clean. Now I'm not a copier guy, but I don't think laser printers have a print head. I think that's what inkjet printers have. These laser printers they use well laser. They use a drum and a belt, which is what this is. So uh, there's no such thing as print head. So what I think the seller is referring to me as the print head is the ITB unit, and it is. It needs cleaning, that's what they said. So that could be the reason why the images are becoming fuzzy and blank. Now, um, I'm not, I, I could go on eBay and buy a new ITB unit, but I first need to confirm that the issue is the ITB unit. I don't want to go ahead and buy an ITB unit, put it in, fiddle it with it for an hour, and then realize that's not the problem. So there's also another uh, issue with the printer. I mean, not that. 
Oh, let me rephrase that. Well, this is my main theory. The ITB unit needs to be replaced. This thing, faulty. That's what's causing the errors. But uh, it also says that the error code could be something even more serious, such as uh, a DC controller board, a direct uh, power current control board that needs to be replaced and is faulty. If that's the case, I'm, I'm just not... I'm not going through the hassle of this, and I'm dumping this whole thing. Okay, so the only thing I can do with this printer right now is scanning documents. In fact, this document reader, I put a document in it. It was working fine until the documents kept getting stuck. And then um, sometimes when I put a paper in here, this thing turns into a paper shredder, and then when it comes out the other end, it shreds up my document. It's, it's atrocious, but I think probably because it's misaligned I'll probably be able to fix that later so let me see if I can remove this for you guys okay so this is the ITB unit as you can see and in there are the laser drums I'm gonna put this back in there Hoping that this is a ITB unit problem. I'm really hopeful that this is an ITB unit problem. And if it is, in theory, I can just replace this and then get the printer working again. That that would be great. That would be awesome. So yeah, at first I thought it was a laser drum issue. But now that I've realized an ITB unit problem makes more sense. Now I've figured out that if I leave this door open and turn it on, there I could like kind of bypass the error checks temporarily until I close it. I'll show you what I mean. So if I turn it on, it immediately says there's an error. But if I leave that door open, that gets overrided by another error because you know the door is open and I could theoretically get into the copy menu so I'll just show you this is what I've done so we have the air light flashing right there Z. go let it load up So it is prompting me to close that. Now, if I close it now, it should go away and the printer should go into, should start operating. Yep, so it says printer is warming up now instead. So now. Oh, there we go. And the air comes back. So yeah. Oh, sta staples are out. But yeah, so uh, honestly, this seller was misleading. I checked the listing and it said there were no issues with the printer. But when I get there, there is an issue with the ITB unit. But the error did not show up at that time, which is why I took it home with me. If it was visible at that time, I would have just left it there. But yeah. So. Honestly, uh, so chance of this printer printer getting to print one page is just grim. Like it's a um, thirty percent chance I'm gonna be able to get this printer up and running. And plus now, if, if I check eBay, there's like one for six hundred dollars, I believe. Is a new another version of this. C5245, something like that. And it's only for, it's $600, but $45 shipping. Honestly, I should have would have been gone that one because I'm not going through the hassle of this whole thing. But yeah, for now, I'm using it as a scanner to scan documents. I mean, it's, it's supposed to be a full fledged copier, you know? It's supposed to be a copier. And can't even copy. 
which is pretty sad. Let's see here. Yeah, I can only scan and store any other any copy function such as fax. Oh wait, fax works. Sorry, no. Copy doesn't work. Uh, things such as oh, fax inbox. Yeah, fax I fax inbox too. You know, print out your fax documents doesn't work. Secure print doesn't work. It, access stored files doesn't work. You know, it's just. I don't know. If, I don't even know what to do. Like. If anyone has, if anybody knows how to uh, resolve something like this, please let me know in the comments. Okay, please let me know in the comments as those would be very helpful. If you have any theories on why this printer is not working and if you guys think replacing the ITB unit will fix the issue, please let me know in the comments. I do plan on trying to contact a printer repair co uh, company in my area, but until then, I need um, some advice, like, if anyone of you have experience with these copiers, please let me know. Feel free to reach me out through email, uh, Discord, YouTube comment section, etc. So yeah, this is just a little update video on this, so, well, thanks for watching. Hopefully we get this printer working soon.